Hello everyone! Today, we are going to be talking about phosphofructokinase deficiency. This is also known as glycogen storage disease 7, or Tarui disease. Let's begin with an introduction, shall we? Phosphofructokinase, or PFK, is a glycolytic enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-biphosphate. When PFK is deficient, the resulting block in glycolysis leads to a secondary glycogenosis. PFK is a tetrameric enzyme composed of three distinct subunits, L, which stands for liver, M, which stands for muscle, and P, which stands for platelet. Expression of these subunits is tissue-specific. The enzyme in erythrocytes is a 50-50 hybrid of the M and L types. The vast majority of patients with GSD7, or glycogen storage disease 7, lack the muscle-specific isoform of PFK. Normal isoforms are present in the platelets and liver. The inheritance of PFK deficiency is autosomal recessive. The disorder is caused by mutations in the gene for the M muscle isoform of PFK, located at 12Q13. The genes for the L, or liver, and P, or platelet subunits, have been mapped to chromosomes 21 and 10, respectively. Note, Tarui disease is more prevalent among people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. Now that we've covered this introduction, let's move on to some clinical manifestations of Tarui disease, or PFK deficiency. The disease typically presents in childhood with fatigue, muscle cramps, and exercise intolerance. A high carbohydrate meal or administration of glucose prior to exercise aggravates symptoms due to decreased availability of free fatty acids and ketones. Patients often have exertional rhabdomyolysis with myoglobinuria. Additionally, some patients have erythrocyte hemolysis, a feature of several disorders of glycolysis. This usually is compensated by increased red blood cell production. Myogenic hyperuricemia and gout may be seen and can occur in the absence of clinically apparent skeletal muscle involvement. Many patients report burgundy-colored urine after exercise. This is a result of myoglobinuria as caused by muscle breakdown. Patients also report nausea and vomiting. The conditions to diagnose phosphofructokinase deficiency are as follows. Serum creatine kinase concentration is usually elevated. Red blood cell PFK activity is typically reduced to approximately one half of normal activity. A mild hemolytic anemia may be present sometimes with mild hyperbilirubinemia. Although anemia is rare, reticulocytosis is common. Patients often have hyperuricemia due to increased degradation of purine nucleotides in muscle. The diagnosis is confirmed with a muscle biopsy 
demonstrating deficient PFK activity, or alternatively, by detecting DNA mutations of known pathogenicity. And now that we've identified and diagnosed PFK deficiency, let's discuss some of the potential treatments. Unfortunately, there is no specific treatment for this disorder. Patients should avoid strenuous exercise. Glucose intake prior to exercise is not useful, and in fact, it may be detrimental to reduction in the concentration of alternative fuels, like fatty acids and ketones. Patients should avoid strenuous exercise and consider a high-protein diet. This concludes our discussion on phosphofructokinase deficiency. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and that you learned something. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.